Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this block state management course and in this video we are going to discuss about block architecture which is a type of a clean architecture. Now first what is an architecture? An architecture is just a way to organize files and folders in our project so it can be maintainable, testable and it can be reused in future easily. Ok so it is just a way to organize code files of our project and there are many clean architectures on internet uh, you may have heard some of them like MVC which is a model view controller uh, used by Gitex MVVM which is a model view view model architecture a quite a popular one uh, block architecture which we gonna learn in this video so it is also a type of a clean architecture now in the block architecture there are mainly three components ok one is a UI component another is a block component and the next one is a data component this UI layer is also called as presentation layer uh, this block layer is generally business logic layer and there is this data layer which consists of two main layers uh, one is a repository another is a data provider and I will try to explain you all of them by creating a simple project ok so this is a basic project that I have created till now now let me give you a quick overview of this project so there is nothing much there is a block observer I have set so it is just to demonstrate on create and on change of any block or qubit and I have simply called the run app there is a material app here and which is mainly calling this IP screen now this IP screen contains an app bar a refresh button here which is a floating action button a body okay and in which I have multiple IP cards now what is an IP card so if I tap on it I have created a widget folder and inside it I am having an IP card and which is actually a card uh, with a list style in it and I have actually used a inkwell just to give a on tap effect like this ok so it is just showing a title time zone pin code etc and it is just showing a value and I am just passing it here those title value with the icon okay so this is the base project in which I will be building okay and actually one more thing is there which is an IP card model so I have created a folder called as model and inside that there is a IP card model there is also this IP details but we will be covering a little later now let's understand what we want to do what I exactly want to do is when I click on this refresh uh, I should get the current IP ISP and all these details and it should be shown on the screen now for that I will be using an API ok called as this one ipapi.com slash json and this is an HTTP API so I have to send it like HTTP ok so simply like this I have to send it and it returns me the response so it is providing me the country the region and all the other stuffs ok now uh, we need to create a model for this so including from json and to json so I have already done in the project as well so this IP detail model uh, is just a model for this IP response that we are gonna get so there is a country and all these fields and I have assigned a predefined values to them and if I move down I have just created a from json with two string methods everywhere just to avoid null ok so now uh, let's try to create that project so what I will do very first is uh, I will just go with the presentation layer first so I will create here a new folder ok and inside this presentation I will be moving my screen so generally what I do is I generally create a another folder named screen in which I store screens and so what I will do is I will just move this widget inside this presentation so we have a screen inside which we will move this IP screen and we have a widget inside we have an IP card and now you might think we should move this model inside this presentation nope we will be creating a, another layer here ok uh, which will be our data layer so a new folder and simply data and inside this we move these models ok and inside this data layer we also create some files yeah, or folders and one of them is repository now we will get to this what is this repository and there is also something called as data provider so a new folder now in data we generally have these three folders data provider model and repository we will understand this too a bit later there is a presentation which contains screen and widget now the last one which is a block or a qubit so what I will do is uh, I'm just gonna create a qubit 
that is also a business logic component so simply new qubit and i can name it as ip nothing super complex because ip is the feature so ip qubit and ip state so there is an ip initial state and this is simply called inside this ip qubit so what i will do is i will create two more states here uh, one i will be calling ip loading state okay so it will this state will be shown when the things are loading the another one i will be calling as ip result state so simply result and these are those state now inside this ip result uh, i will be requiring an instance of our ip details so simply final and i can call it ip details model okay so what you will see is inside my models i have named it like this uh, this is an ip card and inside this i have kept its ip card model because it is inside model so this is just a convention that i follow i don't use this model in the file name if it is inside model folder okay so here simply ip details model and i can call it ip details and simply like this so i need to create a final constructor here okay and the same will be required for ip initial as well so what i can do is i can simply create an instance of this so ip details model and actually i have already assigned some predefined values to them so i will be using those now this all state extends this ip state now let's try to understand this data provider so the data provider gives us the raw data now let's say you are doing too much processing and generating some data so you can keep that functions inside data provider and those data provider provide data to the repositories and those repositories provide data to the qubit or the block and then it is given to the presentation layer now it might look bit complicated so let's try to implement it out so let me create a new file and i can call it ip data provider and inside this i will create a class called as ip data provider and i will be creating some functions here so i have just created a sample function named get ip details response okay so we will be calling the api here and i have just written a try catch and this function returns a nullable string so if it is successful it will return simply a string or it will return null okay so now to call the api actually we will require an external package so actually i have already imported http here so i will be using that one so simply here what i can do is so simply get and inside this i have to pass the url like this uri dot parse and i have already copied the url so simply here and i will be just returning the response so what i can do is i can just simply final rest is equals to and i need to use an await keyword here because it will take some time and simply here return so return rest dot body and it will return the raw string for us and if we wish uh, we can even mention the return null here so if an error occurs return null or else return this okay so we will be using this data provider inside our repository uh, the work of data provider is just to provide the raw data okay whatever the model conversions or any operation is done to make that raw data into a structured data is done inside repository so i will be creating a new file and i will be calling it ip repository so simply an ip repository class and inside this i will be again creating a function so this is just a function that i have created uh, which is get ip details and it returns the ip details or simply a null and i am just using this ip data provider that we created here now this is just a one way to create it uh, one another way is using a instance here and then calling it here okay that's totally up to you now simply i am calling this get ip details response function and whatever the response i get i will be doing something with it so the first thing is decoding the response so what i will do is i will just convert this response to data by using json decode because whatever i have got is a json string and it is throwing me an error because we can't pass a nullable string to this so what i can do is i can check a condition here if response is equals to equals to null uh, in that case we can simply return null okay and we could have handled some cases here like printing a log or something like that or adding an error to the qubit so for now what i will do is here 
I can just do return and IP details model from JSON and I can pass this data or I can just do it like this I can pass it here and simply control save so this will convert that raw data to a model and it will be written by the repository now this will be used by our qubit so inside this qubit uh, IP qubit what I will do is I will create a, another function so I have just created a function named fetch IP details and it is just calling this IP repository dot get IP details now I have just created an instance here of IP repository and I can initialize that instance here simply like this if I wish to but I don't want to do it like this because it is not good for the testing purpose but if you're not writing test then you can ignore it you can simply use it like this but for now what I will do is I will just make it for now a public instance and here I can call it like this okay IP repository and here what I am doing is whenever I get a response from the IP repository I am checking if it is not equal to null then I will be emitting a new state and my new state in this case will be this one IP result so simply here I can call IP result and I just need to pass the IP details and which is the model so it will emit the new state now if it is null then what we should do okay because there is also that condition so if it is null uh, in that case we can emit the state of initial so IP initial and we don't need to pass anything because we are already creating an instance of it okay so simply like this and here when this fetch IP details starts loading we need to emit another state which is a loading state uh, just to keep track of things so simply here uh, I can say IP loading okay and we will be using this so here I can just use ternary operator to make code look bit cleaner okay so if it is not null then IP result and or if IP initial and by default when it start you should start loading simple now let's create this repository as well as this IP qubit so what I will do is simply let me copy this one out and here let me collapse this and inside this lib what I will do inside this main outside this material app I will use a block provider so simply a block provider and here I can use my IP qubit okay so simply IP qubit and since it's expect a repository so for now if I wish I can just pass a repository here like IP repository okay simply like this and it will handle the error for me but they suggest according to the official docs you should create a, another something called as repository provider okay and inside this repository provider okay so you should pass that repo there and then you should pass that repo here so I can just do it like this for now final and I can call it repo just a repo and let it be IP repo so what I will do is repository dot value and we can create using a value which means I have already created the repo so I can just pass this value here so it will create the repo for me and here I can again pass this repo okay so this is a way just to do things and if you wish you can use multi block provider and multi repository provider for many repositories or many blocks or qubits now let's use them the most important part in our UI so inside this screens IP screens and I will be using it here okay so there is a list style by default I won't be showing this list style by default so let me cut this one and actually I will be creating a function for it so simply I have created a function which is a result list and it just returns a widget and this is that widget okay that is our list view now I will be creating a similar function to show something else so what I can do is I think it is giving me an error okay so for now here let me just show a sized box and I will wrap this sized box with a block builder because depending upon the state it should update so I just need to import the block builder and here I just need to use that IP qubit so just import it and here I just need to use IP state okay and inside this 
uh, I can just simply use a if else kind of thing so if so I can just step check the type so state is and if it is initial okay in that case I just want to return this result list with the empty data and if it is loading so if state is IP loading then I want to show a circular progress indicator now if it is final so if I can just do it like state is so if IP result then simply return again this result list so you could have used just a single return statement here and it could have done your work but in this case it is okay to use a single return statement but sometimes you want to show a different thing for initial a different for loading a different for result and a different for size box now here in the result list uh, I will require the IP details to be shown so I can just use this IP details model and I can just call it a model and I need to pass it here so since we know the state is IP result here we can use this state dot IP details and since we know the state is IP initial here we can use state dot IP details but if you try this inside is loading state dot IP details you won't see it here because inside is loading we haven't defined anything okay so this is how we just create state extend them add some variables to it and then use those state to reflect changes on the screen okay so simply we can show it like this now here what I can do is I just need to add one last button uh, which is to fetch the state so here context dot and I can use read here just to read the qubit and the name of the qubit is IP qubit and dot fetch IP details and I can remove even this from here and a control save now if I open my terminal and I just can clear this one I can click on this and you will see the loading start and the things are being shown so the state changes from initial to loading then loading to result now I just need to show those things here so simply here instead of this IP address I can use model dot query okay I think that will be the IP address and here I can use model dot okay so you will see the state will change from initial to this now if I just restart the app now this is the initial state now if I refresh the state changes from initial to loading a loading indicator shows and then it is changed to result now let's assume your application is quite a big one and you have many of qubits many of data models many of repositories providers many of presentation layers so how do you handle that there are also many approaches to do that but the one I used is a feature first approach in this approach we divide uh, our project into features and then we work on it so if I need to migrate this project to feature first approach what I will do I will just create a new folder named features and inside these features or I can just call it feature as well and I will create a new folder named IP because it is regarding the IP address and there can be another things like MAC address let's say for example okay so inside this IP address I will move this qubit inside this IP address I will move this data and inside this IP address I will be moving this presentation so a single feature will contain its block component its data component okay and its presentation component okay so this is how just I organize my projects now just to give you a last quick overview uh, you can refer this diagram a block pattern for flutter so a UI layer a block layer a repository layer and a data provider layer in reality actually I don't use this data provider layer much I use this repository and I merge both the functionalities into one okay that's my personal preferences nothing more than that okay so now I hope this makes a little sense to you so in our case we were clicking on refresh button a function or event was called it gone to a block or a qubit a request was sent to the data or repository layer and it got us a response from the server and that response is reflected on UI through states and I know the duration of this video is quite a long 
but if you are watching this till now thank you for watching and see you in the any another video till then bye bye